God also was aware that this is a, we're human beings and we can go through processes. So he gave us a manual for the best performance of the appliance. Before you open up your washing machine or your, your iPad, you read the manual so you don't plug in and blow the thing. Right. So in the manual there are instructions of order of your daily life to create a foundation. When you right. get up in the morning, be glad that you're alive. Yeah. The Ani, you say the prayer, yeah. thank you God. Yeah. You start off being, being I grateful, I grateful that and thankful. That's the beginning. Gratitude. Before you step out of, out of, out of bed, yeah. open your eyes and say, hey, man, I can see. Yeah. I'm breathing. I definitely learned that. that okay. Appreciate every moment of life as much as you can. So these are all the... And when you eat, say thank you for yes, this meal. Right. And when things work and, you know, your body works, say thank you. Not only that, but also be grateful in the situation where your thank you is not just within the ritual, but it's also within, in, the, in the resonance that you meet with people yeah. and you learn to appreciate them and accentuate the positive to bring that out. That's really an important lesson. That's a, and it's hard too when you come across, again, here we are in New York, and you get the feeling, you know, especially in business, people are out for themselves and they're looking for what's best for themselves. And you're trying to say, okay, I'm looking out for you, but you don't get the sense they're looking out back for you and it's hard to keep giving when you know they're just taking. You know, if you give conditionally and you don't get it back as fast as you want it, then you're not really giving. It's like catching a fish. You throw them the bait and you pull them in. But once you start being sincere and you'll do that, you'll find, like I told you, look at people, say good morning, say hello to them, no matter what race or, or culture they're from. Giving, you'll... giving unconditionally oh, right. yeah. without expecting something in return. And that's God. That's hard. No, no, of course. But, but what's, That's your, really hard. what's your choice? Especially in this city. No, 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 believe me. Some people say to me, oh, you used to live in New York. Aren't you glad you got out of there? I said, no, I go back there all the time. I have nothing against it. It helped me understand things that I took with me to Israel. And I'm applying. So when I meet people from New York and Israel, I'm aware of there's a, there's a connection. I can relate to them. Yeah. And even here in New York, I know that every person that I see by fact is being sponsored by God to be here because he wants them to be here. So you're relating to them on the level you want to relate to them on and whatever, however they come back to you. It's not who they are. That's who they are and you're totally fine they with it. They are who they are. You're but you're fine they, with it no matter yeah, what. Absolutely. You don't get upset with people. What, what's that? Of course, I, they, sometimes I, lo I, I can lose it. But I know I lost it because ultimately I should realize that basically everyone who's here is chosen to be here by God for their purpose. Okay. And if, their, if their purpose goes against my purpose, I have to realize I have to deal with that and not uh, um, uh, challenge them for it. Not challenge them? No. Just let them do what they got to do? Uh, if I can insert any suggestions of constructive, non-judgmental levels, mm -hmm. I will try and do that. And I guess you also feel that by being a certain way, you're helping the world, you're helping them, you're helping society? In two ways. One, by promoting bringing out the goodness and one restraining the negativity because there is there is a, like you said there are parts of me sometimes that you get angry right but i said wait a second that's not productive yeah even though i feel that way it's not the right way to feel so i have to I have to stop it so what's if you had to give me like a a you had to give me like a slogan as i'm walking through the streets <laughs> of new york to keep like a mantra in my head what, what would that be you have to Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and don't mess with the lower nature in between. Look for the good. Yeah. But you have to retrain yourself. Yeah. Rehab. Or reheap. <laughs> <laughs> or rejuvenate. You have to, you know, things. Rehab uh, and rejuvenate. Uh, if, if, if a person hasn't exercised for a while, yeah. and then they start to exercise, you know what the first thing they feel? They're exhausted. Pain, pain, they pain. Die. Charlie Horse. Well, they also say if you're going to start exercising, do a little bit at a time. Whatever, it's still going to, you're still going to feel pain. You can't just like go out and run a marathon. No, 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 you're still going to feel the pain because there's, there's lactic acid in your system. Right. But after a while, you know it's a good thing. Right. You know it's a good thing. And even though it's difficult, you're willing to give it that extra effort. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. the negative. Yeah. And don't mess, mess with your lower nature in between. What does that mean? Lower nature is the stuff that you've been conditioned, the knee jerk. You know, someone someone cuts you off on the road. And then you want road to rage. cut them right back. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it wasn't, it's like, wait a second. Like you could see it, you could feel it, but you don't have to act on it. Right. 
And what about the fact that I'm confused about all the different Derek's with the Breslovs? And the, no, everyone no. telling me different parts of Kabbalah. It's too soon to be confused. So what should I do? What first, should... first, you should be infused, which means create for yourself a framework that's acceptable by everybody. Kabbalah, Breslov, Satman, Lubavitch, kept by everybody. Yeah. Which is, get up in the morning, say thank you to the Lord. Go to the bathroom, come out, make it, wash your hands, and thank you, thank him that your kidneys are still working. Right. Then, pray, put on tefillin, eat kosher food, make a blessing, yeah. uh, accentuate the positive. Right. Create a framework that's first acceptable by all the people that you're confused by. 